Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender3D Animator with my next tutorial. Today's tutorial is on showing off that great new high poly model that you've spent 48 hours on and it's no materials, no nothing, the, just, just the raw model, but you just want to get it out there and show it off, you know? You're just so excited, you spent so long, for example, I didn't spend very long on this, but say you had a face that was, I'll just subserve it to give it an example, but you made a face that didn't have a vein running down its face and a cut in its nose and retarded lips, but it was more like a zombie or something ridiculous that you just wanted to show off. Well, this tutorial's for that. So, um, let's just pretend that my cube is that object that I wanted to show off, because my cube... I'll actually subsurface smooth and then I'll move some stuff around just so I can subsurface it then and just give it some interesting effects. So after we do that, I'm just gonna subsurface and go into your camera view. Okay. So you have your object subsurfed or modeled or whatever. So space Space add mesh plane and um, size it up. Grab it just so that it's not in the plane. Like that. Okay. Just floating above. Perfect. And you can uh, grab your camera up till it's about it's the center of your object. Now, go into your sh uh, shaders or materials tab and go to the world tab. And select the light blue. And go here, sample, light blue again. Um, set your object so that it's pure white. And, uh, I'm sorry, keep it at 0.8 reflection. I think turn your specularity down all the way. And you can keep your hardness the same. Now go to find it here. Ambient occlusion. And after you selected ambient occlusion, um I think that's just what you need to uh, approximate. Approximate. And now this does take a while to render by doing that, I think. I think. So while I'm waiting for that, a um, little bit of self-promotion. I do have a t uh, not a tutorial coming after this video, but more of a... How should I say it? More of a... Um... Hmm. Kind of like, uh, more like information about my, my channel. So, that's a, a nice way to show off your model. If you have just a still frame, your nice model, nice. But, say you need to see all sides of it. Well, that, what I just did, most likely isn't going to help you. Now set your reflection to 0.5. And after you've done that, erase your plane there and make sure you have your energy at about 1.5 and I think one pass and what you can do is space add empty and uh, select your camera, select the empty and parent your camera to the empty so now you can rotate your empty on the z-axis and the camera goes with it so go to frame one, insert location 
go to transform properties, go to frame 250, and for your transform properties is N, uh, rotate this 360 degrees. On the oh, rotate it 360 degrees, and insert. Oh, whoops! I'm a goof. Insert rotation. Now frame 250. It w this would now be 720. Insert rotation. So now, if you were to animate this your camera would spin around your object. Now if your object was centered, it would work a little nicer. So, I can center this. Okay, so now... Animate. You have a nice rotation around your object. So you can uh, run a current frame. I think that might be a little too much ambient occlusion. So I think maybe just the, I forget exactly the settings that I used when I had an older animation. I forget, but that's definitely a good way. It's nice and bright. There's um nothing to it, and I think actually, let me erase my light a second. Mm. All right, now you just have a soft figure. So don't erase your light, but decrease the energy and render the current frame, which will cause very light shadows. Like, very light. So when you rotate, you can still, you know, see, this is more for, like, a, an object that doesn't have much, uh, that has more deep features to it. Now, if you have an object that is smoother, you want a bit of a higher amount of light and then you can have a deeper shadow in the back. So that's concluding um, today's tutorial on sh showing off your incredible model in Blender 2.48a. Thanks for watching and supporting me for these couple of weeks, and I will see you guys in my next video.